you are about to enjoy may contain splashing images. It also contains terrible jokes at the outset and seems to be a pirate to nature. We hope you enjoy our show. Run for it! Avast there, land lovers. I'm here to tell you of swashbuckling pirates and brave mermaids. Be warned, this is not for the faint-hearted. Those of a nervous disposition should leave now. I was talking to the audience. Are we sitting comfortably? Yep. <laughs> Good. Let's begin. Mahadi Hive School is the most distinguished pirate school on the seven seas. Arr. We're pirates in training, we must make the grade. We're learning our skills and the tricks of the trade. Like eye patch positions and weather conditions. And counting our business the rate. Oh, there's a lot to learn, there's a lot to do. Before we can pass as a pirate crew, there's more to this than meets the eye. But we're learning faster, we can't see why. The scurvy prevention, the sea sickness test. A lot of great lessons in gold treasure chests. There's blue. That's right, ladies and gents. This was a school for pirates. Pirates only mind, which meant one thing. No, no mermaids allowed. Arr! Mermaids? Ugh. Pirates are better than mermaids. With their long, cascading hair. And their fishy, swishy tail. And they're all like, ooh, get me, I'm a mermaid. We don't want to go to your school anyway. It's a very silly school. It's a very silly pirate. Mermaids are cool. Mermaids are in. Face it. Mermaids are so much better than pirates. Oh dear. Nobody could remember when or even how this rivalry had begun. But one thing was for certain. The pirates did not like the mermaids and the mermaids did not like the pirates. You think that because they both loved the sea so much they could find a way to get along. But no. It was pirates versus mermaids every second of every day. We don't like mermaids, they're bossy and they're mean. We don't like mermaids, they think they rule the sea. They say we're not real pirates and we'll never make the grade. But they don't work at anything, they're just fin fin. Mind my hair, mind my hair, mind my nails, mind my nails, mind my jewels, mind my truth, mind my tail, mind my tail. They say we're not real pirates and we'll never make the grade. But they don't work at anything, they're just plain fin. Pirates, they're tricky and they're sly. We don't like pirates, they're mocking and unkind. They say we're silly mermaids and they think that they're so tough. But all they do is swagger around and brag about their stuff. Look at my hook, look at my patch, look at my patch, look at my sword, look at my sword, look at my hat, look at my hat. They say we're silly mermaids and they think that they're so tough. But all they do is swagger around and brag about their stuff. They're sneaky and they're cool. We don't like pirates, they're smelly and they're rude. You think that you're so special, you think that you're so cool. Life at Mahati High School is very busy for the student pirates. Professor Falk taught swordplay, grade 3. Plus and pounds, plus and pounds, leaping to the air, and that is a rupture of 
Professor Dubloon taught mathematics. One gold coin, two gold coins, three gold coins, loads of money. And Professor Scurvy taught cookery. Shipmates, the best way to eat a weevil is in a custard cream. Uh. Come on, lads, eat up. <laughs> Top of the class was Captain in Training, Captain Scary Pants. Scary Pants by name and Scary Pants by nature! Now, you're probably wondering why he was called a captain already. Yes, I am wondering. The answer is simple, because although he was still in training, he was quite possibly the most gifted student pirate Mihati High School had ever seen. And his leadership skills were second to none. He had a mean right hook, was proficient in climbing the rigging, and had a splendid and very scary pirate scar and had a brave and loyal crew led by Scar, Ace and Gangrene. Ace. Scar, Gangrene. It went without saying that he would be their captain after graduation. Captain Scary Pants would become the most fearsome pirate on the high seas and his name would pass into legend. There was only one problem. Captain Scary Pants had a deep, dark secret. He was absolutely terrified of the water. Shh, it's a secret. One day, the pirates were having a walk the plank lesson with Professor Cannonball, who taught PE. Right lads, first let's do a quick run through of the correct way to walk from the plank. The school was very hot on health and safety. Remember, you must tuck and roll into the sea. Tuck and roll. All clear? Captain Scary Pants, you're up first. Captain Scary Pants looked at the ocean and gulped. He'd never seen so much water before. He began to shake and wobble like an octopus at a roller disco. Dive in, the water's fine. We've been swimming all day long. You're not scared, are you? Our captain's not scared of anything. He's the scariest pirate on the high seas. He even scares me. Shoot, shoot! Get back to your mermaid caves. Captain <laughs> <laughs> mermaid. Perhaps one of my crew should jump into the thing first. What about gangrene, Professor? He could do with a wash. It's true. He hasn't had a bath in three years. Three years, five days and 42 minutes. It's brilliant. But before anyone could jump anywhere, a teeny tiny speck of water flew off the crest of a wave and landed right on Captain Scary Pants' head. Oh no, water, water, it's on the emergency, call 999! Cam, what's wrong? Help, help, I'm drowning, I'm drowning! Remain calm, Captain, I would now administer the kiss of life. I'm not drowning that much. Just then, the head teacher arrived on the scene. What is going on? It's Captain Scary Pants. He appears to be scared of water. Scared of the water? Scared of the water? Scared of the water? Oh, rub it in, why don't you? Ridiculous. You better buck up your ideas, lad. Unless you can conquer your fear of water, you'll fail your R levels. Captain Scary Pants didn't know what to do. If he failed his R levels, then he wouldn't graduate from pirate school. And if he didn't graduate from pirate school, then he wouldn't become a proper pirate. What was he to do? Shut up, Captain. Everyone's scared of something. I'm scared of the dark. I'm scared of spiders. I'm scared of crisps. But you don't understand. I'm scared of water because, because I can't swim. There, I said it. Can't, can't swim. swim? Yes, yes, all right. Ace thought the answer was simple. All you need to do is learn to swim. If he could swim, then he would no longer be scared of the water. And if he wasn't scared of the water, then he would pass his R levels with ease. And Ace knew exactly who could help them. Mermaids, they're the best swimmers in the world. 
Mermaids? No way! Ace, you're a sensible chap. Can't you teach me how to swim instead? Um... Wait a moment. Hands up who can swim. Can't swim? Yes, yes, yes all right. right. There was only one thing for it. You don't, don't mean. mean. Yes, lads, we need to find ourselves some mermaids. Come on. Without further ado, the trainee pirates took their places aboard their trusty pirate ship. They dusted the rigging, swabbed the decks, and polished the cannons until it was all ship shape. And so with the mighty blast of their horn, they sailed out of the harbour in search of the mermaid caves, leaving me hearty high school behind them. To the mermaid caves, warp factor nine. Arr! Off they went across the crashing, splashing waves, the salty air whipping at their faces. They rolled to the right, they rolled to the left, they went up, they went down. Captain Scarepants sighed with contentment. Th this was what being a pirate was all about. What, where would he be without his loyal crew? And of course, my carrot. Um, about the carrot, you're supposed to have pet parrots, not carrots. Oh. Never fear, Captain. Got a quick trip round, you see. We got you this. What is it exactly? I'm a parrot, I'm a parrot, I'm a very chatty parrot Every pirate needs a parrot, don't you know? I'm your must-have, I'm your key, absolute necessity No, you're not a proper pirate on your own Oh, he's talking, talking, tiny, walking, laughing, yapping, my eye Captain Chalder, holding, pirate, loving, friend I'm a parrot, I'm a parrot, I'm a very chatty parrot Every pirate needs a parrot, don't you know? Hasn't anybody told you that you need me on your shoulder? No, you're not a proper pirate on your own Oh, he's just talking, 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 looking, laughing, yapping My eye cat and shoulder, having pirate-loving friends I'm a parrot, I'm a parrot, I'm a very chatty parrot Every pirate needs a parrot, don't you know? I'm a must-have, I'm your key, absolute necessity. No, you're not a proper pirate on your own. I'm your squawking, talking, funny, walking, flapping, yapping, I a captain, shoulder hugging, pirate loving friend. And I saw it. Where did you get it? Where did you get it? Why is it repeating what I say? Why is it repeating what I say? Stop that at once! Stop that at once! I command you to stop! Phew! I command you to stop! Ah! Ah! <sighs> captain Scary Pants missed his carrot. Every pirate captain needs their pirate psychic. It says in the pirate handbook. Page 70. I don't care, get me something else and make it snappy. 
Why are we can water it online? Using the iPad. Make it snappy. Make it snappy. Ah, ah. Hmm. Something snappy. Something snappy. There. Both one click. Done. Suddenly, the ship ground to an abrupt halt. Oh. What was that? The fog be rolling in. Hostin, we have a problem. No problem, it's too great for Captain Scary Pants. We're lost. Lost? Now we we'll never find the mermaid caves. Captain Scary Pants, however, was as cool as a sea cucumber. <laughs> Heave to me hearties, I do believe the mermaid caves are right there. Amazing, how did you know? I'm one of the narrators and I didn't even know that. Google Maps? Hmm, they've hidden the hideout in the fog. Very crafty. Captain Scopants used the eye iPad to lead them right into the mouths of the mermaid caves. They disembarked from their pirate ship into the shadows. Quiet, lads. We must be absolutely silent. I'm a parrot. I'm a parrot. I'm a very parrot. Shush! I can't see mermaids anywhere. I think you've just found some. Oh no, not pirates. Pirates? Ugh. We do not like pirates. Not at all. With their silly eye patches and their pointless hooks. And they're all like, ooh, get me, I'm a pirate. What do you have to say for yourselves? Hello, sausage. What do you have to say for yourself? Hello, sausage. What do you have to say for yourself? Hello, sausage. Move! Mermaids are so much better than pirates. I'm Atlantis. I'm Neptuna. I'm Scampi and Chips. How did you find our secret hideout, Captain Scary Pants? Speak up, pirate vermin. Or you'll be sorry. Google Maps? What? Not again. Fire the head of security. 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 But, but, oh, that's me. Duh. You look very <laughs> pleased with yourselves, pirates. You found our hideout, but you don't know everything about us. There's more to being a mermaid than flicking our hair and admiring our nails and jewels, you know. We don't need a ship to get around in the sea. We don't need help to navigate with GPS free. We can weather any storm without the shelter you need. Face it, pirates, we're way out of your lead. We're sassy, we're flashy, we're one of a kind. We're gutty, we're witty, we know our mind. Throughout the course of history, we get to know of mystery. And we don't know much about the mermaids at all. We like to be pretty, we like to be bling With sun or ready hair and lots of sparkly things But these things don't define us, I think you'll agree Face it pirates, we're way out of your league We're sassy, we're flashy, we're one of a kind We're gritty, we're witty, we know our own mind Throughout the course of history we catch an air of mystery And you don't know much Throughout the course of history, we've kept an air of mystery. You don't know much, you don't know much, you don't know much about the mermaids at all. Talk to the fin, cos we ain't listening. Take me to your leader. Are you sure? Are you really sure? Are you really, really sure? Captain Scarypants was not really, really sure. In fact, this whole business suddenly seemed like a very bad idea indeed. But they've come this far and they needed swimming lessons after all. Lead on! The mermaids took them through twisting passageways and echoing caverns until they were in the very heart of the mermaid's labyrinth. 
Captain Scary Pants, I've been expecting you. Oh, you have? Yes, we have security cameras. Why are you snooping around? The truth is, we need your help. Captain Scary Pants explained that they needed swimming lessons right away. And I'm, I'm scared of the water. Phew, gets easier to say every time. There's no shame in it, Captain. No one's going to laugh at you. <laughs> the mermaids roared with laughter. Captain Scary Pants? More like Captain Scaredy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Captain, here's the deal. My mermaid and I will teach you how to swim on one condition. What's that? You have to say mermaids are better than pirates out loud. Never. No can do. Not on your Nelly. Shiver me timbers, this is an outrage. Bye then. Oh, all right then. Mermaids are better than pirates. I can't hear you. Mermaids are better than pirates. Now say it like you mean it. Mermaids are better than pirates! Neptuna get the snorkels, Atlantis get the inflatable rubber rings. Come on everybody, let's hit the pole. Have you got your shades on? Have you got your swimmers? Have you got your green screen, your goggles, your flippers? Have you got the food in? Have you lit the barbie? Then you're set to dive into the party. We're having a full party in the big blue sea. Won't you all come swimming, come swimming, karaoke. There'll be some laughing, some splashing, some eating, some chatting. Forget this party going right. In. And so the mermaids taught the pirates how to swim. They learnt backstroke, breaststroke and pirate stroke. And at the, they had the best day ever. And as the sun set over the ocean, Captain Scary Pants realised that he loved swimming, which only goes to show that there's nothing to fear but fear itself. And crisps. Mermaid boss, how can we ever thank you? Gold and jewels will suffice right now. Uh, of course. But who needs gold and jewels when you can have a lovely pack? Mm. It's a thoroughbred. Fully house trained. <coughs> it's not annoying at all. Delivery for one captain's gay pants. Sign here, please. <laughs> snap, snap. Is that what I think it is? Yes, something snappy. I said place an order and make it snappy, not get me something snappy. Ah, crocodile! The mummies looked at the crocodile and gulped. Their legs began to wobble and shake like an octopus at a roller disco. Snap, snap. Yum, yum. There was chaos. The mummies started here and there and there and here. Swim for the hills! Save yourselves! Abandoned cave, I repeat, abandoned cave. Anything I can do? Help! Captain Scary Pants told the mermaid boss that he'd be simply delighted to help. There was just a little something he'd like her to say out loud first. Can you guess what it was? Okay, okay. Pirates are better than mermaids. It would take more than a few teeth to frighten Captain Scary Pants. Come on, Croc, you're with me. Farewell, mermaids, until next time. Captain Scary Pants, Ace, and all his crew returned back to Mahati High School. Because they were such expert swimmers, they passed their R levels with flying colours. And on graduation day, guess who got top of the class? Yes, me! Never doubted you for a second, Captain. I did. Three cheers for Captain Scary Pants. Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, stop! 
Suddenly, there were mermaids everywhere. We aren't too late, are we? For the graduation ceremony? I, we heard it was taking place today. My mermaids and I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Now you're proper pirates. Proper scary pirates. We even got you a little graduation gift. I think you'll love this. Oh, presents! I love presents! And a sausage! Oh no! I'm a parrot, I'm a parrot, I'm a very... Does this mean we're all friends now? Well, not exactly friends, but not exactly enemies. There will always be pirates. And there will always be mermaids. <laughs> and there will always be pirates versus mermaids. But at least they could all agree on one thing. They may not always love each other, but they will always love the sea. There's adventure waiting for you and me Together we'll learn to live and share the ocean With the wind in our hair And the salt on our lips And the waves that blow all down free We know for us it's a life at sea There's no other place we'd rather be Adventure waiting for you and me Together we learn to live and share the The wind in our hair and the salt in our lips And the waves that they were going through We know for us it's a life at sea There's no other place we'd rather be There's no other Thank you.